One of the great questions um, about Palestine and Israel, one of the great questions of the Christian faith as well as our Jewish heritage is why in the world uh, is this small corner on earth such an important place? It's interesting because Palestine or Israel is the only land bridge between two continents, the continent of Asia and the continent of Africa. It's interesting because though it officially belongs to the continent of Asia, it is much more Mediterranean and European historically. Now the reason that's important is because the great empires of the ancient world were either from Asia over here, uh, Babylon, uh, Assyria, Persia, or Egypt. And so when they wanted uh, to conquer territory, they would move through this landmass we call uh, Palestine, Israel, north and south, which puts that remarkable corner of the earth in the crosshairs of history, which leads to an interesting conversation around uh, Megiddo and the Valley of Armageddon. Uh, the road that travels here was a Via Maris, that is the way of the sea. It was a trade route as well as a conquering route. It was a place where armies moved back and forth. Megiddo is the top of a mountain and historically from beginning with the fourth century BC all the way through the time of the kings of Israel, the northern kingdom, was a strategic place because the valley of Jezreel here, the valley of Armageddon, was here, and from Megiddo, you could control the armies and the land. Not only that, but the Valley of Armageddon is a rich, fertile plain for agriculture. Megiddo is a remarkable tell because it was not destroyed. Finally, the capital was moved out of Megiddo, the site, and moved to a surrounding area and community. Now that's interesting because at the time of Solomon, Megiddo was so strategic that Solomon built stables for a thousand horses, established a great gate after Solomon, King Ahab, recognized that one of the major issues with Megiddo was that though it was a fortress that was seemingly impenetrable, um, the spring water the water that fed the fortress itself was outside the city. And so today you can go down 183 steps, I believe it is, to where Ahab dug a vertical shaft and then went horizontally out to the spring. So when there was a siege around Megiddo, they would block off the spring and safely access the spring water from the top of Megiddo down to the valley. Megiddo was so strategic that it was conquered and raised 25 times in history. No wonder when John envisioned the battle that would end the world, he envisioned Armageddon, this place, this crossroads between great armies finally battling it out. Today, when you look across the valley of Armageddon, it is beautiful. It hardly refers to that great cataclysmic battle in the book of Revelation. I hope you'll join me for another installment about reflections on the Holy Land. Thank you for watching Insight. You can view the previous episode and please subscribe to our channel by clicking the link below.